probably need to turn that light off to help that too. Yeah. All right. Do you have your call sheet in front of you? Or you no, I, I can tell you what. Like I told you, I I can tell you what calls are. We're going to be in two up here. We're going to be at Bronk at the top. You got to kind of give us the. Uh... Okay, here you go. We're going to start as two ring right. The ball's on the hash. I mean, what's the whole call? Front wise, I can tell you once we get here, it looks like we're in a boundary. Again, you want to you want to work on front or covers because again they don't work together with each other. Okay. Once we get the end zone view, I'll tell you what I'll tell you what the, the front call is. Okay. okay. We'll work on coverage first. Two, base personnel. Two reading right. Yep. Linebackers inside. We got a Bronco call with the weak safety. He takes the quick out right now. Out in the vertical. Over here. He smashes in three because three works the outside. The linebacker really needs to not let the guy cross the formation. Here, I'm, I'm just giving the full. Secondary call game. Two, two blue, just two Bronco. Two Bronco. Okay. And probably has a solo call, right. really, but they didn't come out trips, so we're just in two Bronco. Okay, two Bronco. Read and right, because that's the field. And this is against 10 personnel. Yep. Is that a call you like a lot against 10? Yeah, it's not bad. You can see here the free safety gets himself in trouble, though. It gets too much ground here early. He needs to stay at about 11. If he stays at 11, he'll be able to play a choice, but he does a great job of breaking. They, luckily, we get a holding call and they have to back up. Green backer should have stayed on that number three. Yeah, he should have. He should not let. He, he should not let that ball. happen. Okay, you go. That's the three techniques. It looks like we're going to have a. We're going to have a. It's a boundary call. And those guys stem independently, right? Yep. Don't move together. This is the guy I told you is going to make some All-American teams, but this guy went to the Senior Bowl. We hit the hit these guys 17 times, five sacks. They don't been sacked eight times up to that point. But we're in a boundary call. Here we got what we're doing is we're zone void, and that's why it happened. That's why I called Bronco and not blue. We brought we brought the uh we brought a sandbacker here. All right, so say that back had been at home there and flared over this way. You have a silver with your end or anything or yes. Well kicker this would have been the middle dropper. Uh -huh. Would have worked off of him. He'd have went to the middle of formation, right? He would have worked. He would have worked this direction. Yeah, so but he wasn't. Was wouldn't go any farther than the football. And then just get a little bit of depth. Pardon me. What do you, and just get a little bit of depth. Because of the Bronco call and bringing him, it put this side's advanced, so he would have had him this way. Oh, okay, okay. Right. I'm with you. Now I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Thirty-three, four, seven. The corner there is a high profile. Huh? Five, ten and a half, two oh two. I can tell you right now, we don't have anybody on defense that looks like that wide receiver you introduced me to. Jermaine. Shit. Lewis, thirty yeah. minutes. Yeah. Now we have got short dogs called here. Uh, this is not it, I don't think. Might be, no. Two reading right. Two read right again, we're in Bronco call. And the reason I know it because it's a press here. Okay, so Bronco calls this weak safety. Is he outside man? He's outside man because the guy played, the guy That's moved into a tight play. leverage, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Because he's gonna and have he a crossed court. over into the zone side. If he went short cloak in the zone side, he'd zone off and look to one. If he went deep first, he'd handle Yeah, he, anything after eight yards, he's got him, man gotcha. close. It's a good now, job. And now you talked about the safeties. Don't go till you know. Gary, your away side linebacker is going to hug that back up into the man side. You're going. Yes, we him. always, when we have a solo or anything like that, we're going to go get him right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And our philosophy is on that. Usually, that guy is a better player than what ours is, and we don't want to give him any more field than we have to. Right. You said Bronco over there the, the, uh, <coughs> to the away side. That that safety is only playing. He's playing. Yeah, vertical in the out. Vertical out. What vertical the guy comes inside? The guy, if the guy runs a smash to the zone side, he lets him go. If he just comes in, you know, sits, Start, it, sits behind the linebacker and, and the back flares. Back flares, the middle, back middle drop guy is going to be that because he's open to his vertical. You say that, that linebacker is playing a little bit, the read backer is a little tighter because he's a better player. He, he can read no, he's that. playing because it's one back. Okay. Remember, Moves one back, we're becoming hawk. We're going, we're going to play the plays yeah. that happen. You're widening up your your techniques. 
move up. I'm gonna tell you, this is that that offensive line was about as good as they're, they're not much. You try to run it back in. You, you try, sure trying to get the three technique to spill this trap or no? Because we'd play. like to. But again, the linebacker plays so tight. You notice with the men, they didn't just pre-release. They tried to bump him yeah. to get him off because the guy guy causes too many problems. Now we are going to call. We're going to go into your zone void stuff here because we feel like they're pretty good. We're going to call short dogs, and we're going to call two blue solo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, with zone for us, when there's two to the side, the the safety can't go, so he's just going to play two blue. Okay. But the linebacker can because it doesn't make any difference. And in fact, with the Broncos, so you can see here, watch here. He calls it off. We're playing, we're playing coverage at the top. The linebacker runs through. And actually, the guy that sets this up is the middle dropper because he gets in there and the back's watching him. We're going to end up causing a takeaway here. You see here the safety sets. Now, when the guy goes outside, really what I'd like Reggie to do, I'd like Reggie to be in farther inside. And Robert covers this free safety in 10 years. I've only been beat twice. And they've never been on verticals. They've been when this guy tries to open too fast and the guy gets back inside the post. Slow, and that means if you play with a 4-7 guy, you can grab him, do anything else. But if you let the guy run vertical, most of the time they won't throw it because he's covered. But if you let the guy back inside, one was against San Diego State. They had pretty good players. And the other one was at a Division II school. That's the only two times this guy's, and that's what will happen to this guy. He lets him inside, he'll get beat. It happened in the bowl game. He let the guy run a dang uh, skinny post after he gave an outside move. So you can see here, we're bailing here. Mm -hmm. And he's crossing over too fast. Your see, he can't come back to this at all. The initial call was what? Short, short dogs, dog. Mike Spy. We said he didn't come because he's got Because we're in zone. If I called man, I called this with zero, he would have he would have read right. Free safety said, read and write, I got him. Inside the dog, he reads. Because the dogs. Okay? But, and he would show here and come over late, and now this safety would have came. But he knows in the zone board I can't come because only one can come here is a linebacker. We get him here at the second drive here, they're going to take down the field. We're going to make him work out of this. I wonder why the center, the center what, he's trying to, he's... Because they try to double read a bunch of things. They're thinking you're coming with four, maybe. Sure yeah, he, he held it. See, that's, we got him sometimes because they, they would try to, they would try to set off, set the back. You know, a lot of people, when you sit here, they're sliding one way yeah. in the man. Yeah. So they try to offset you by sometimes getting him and then coming back across. But we got him to hold here because talking to pro guys anymore, one of the things, the guy that we're bringing in, the offensive line coach, we're bringing in from Baltimore, George Warhawk. One of the things they're having to go to slide protection because so many people are going back to eight-man concepts like the Tennessee Titans have. Because this guy, this guy, he knows they're starting to run twists with linebackers and safe linebackers and linemen because the lineman doesn't know that it's going to be switched. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's responsible for the guy, so if, especially where we're not confusing our own self. Yep, yeah, we needed that because I'm going to coach you guys have played over there. That's a loud place to play to let them get in the game. Yeah, now, we got a solo call. We've solo. got Outlaw, number one. I'm pretty sure we're in double threes here. Mm -hmm. He's coming across. You can see him. He went to Bronco. We went back. What do, you, what, what do you think the whole call is here? It looks like you're in that mini. We're in special at yeah, the mini. top. I used to call that mini because you're, you're playing the. Whatever coverage you want to play, except for one, he's out of it. He's out of here too fast. We need him. We need him to stay here and be more of a better force player. See the wrong shoulder by the end. Mm -hmm. See what the front did. You are now, law. Never seen that call either, any coach. Now, what I'd like to have seen is this guy here, because it's offset, not have to be, not be up in the A-gap so far. You're not in any kind of slide concept either because you're a shotgun or... Yeah, and we would never play slide with Outlaw anyhow. Okay. 
But because, now this was underneath the center of the guy's back, I'd expect double tight A gaps. But I don't like it when the guy's up this tight and the guy's in an offset because there's not going to be anything hard at him anyway. So he should have been back there stacked, and then he would have been able to get over the top of this a lot better than what they did here. This guy played in the hula bowl for us, number two, but he wasn't worth he played tackle terrible, and he's not going to get drafted. Tackle like he's a seventh grader. 415 pound bench. Now you can see here in robber coverage here. You got a short, short dog again. again. Uh, yep. And again, he had to come out of it. Again, free safety. He's going to make. He's going to sit there and he's going to. How make, fast is two again, Gary? He's he's no better than a high four five. He's two hundred eight pounds. This guy is no better than a high four five. Again, nice job by the safety flat. Foot. Well, but that you know, again, that's what that's what we you know you say well you're going to play play action play it. Now I don't know anybody who plays as, as as strong safeties as his flat foot as I play them. I mean watching a lot of people give ground, but really it all comes down to it all comes down to how well you trust. At least for me, I trust myself in doing it and what people do to me. We 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 demand our safeties every year. Like this year. Free safety and the weak safety, number two and number three in tackles. Hmm. Year before, the weak safety and the free safety, number two and three in tackles. Now, probably this guy, he's, this guy here was in New Mexico, is now playing with, for the Indianapolis Colts. He's playing for the Green Bay Packers. At New Mexico, this guy was playing for the 49ers. But we don't have those kind of guys here. Now, this guy played great in the spring. You see, he's disguising a little bit too much for me. Now see he's showing blitz, and now see he comes out of it. Good throw. What's your call here? That's your bullets right here. Uh, we got bullets on. Looks like bullets B. Tight. It looks bullets. like it's outlaw. Outlaw bullets B. So we start in outlaw, and linebacker's going to wrap around. Okay, bullet. Uh, now one more time here. Just Are your time bullets time. B um, zero free or zero? In this case, in this case, it's zero. He's just going to try to give it as much look, and he's got the back. Got the back. I'm with you. Reggie's doing a pretty good job, but you know what? He's just about a little bit too much, and this guy just about gets his ass beat. And really, you know what? He would have helped us a lot better if he would have lined up back here in blue and not even gave away the linebackers coming. The rule now is if linebackers are blitzing, nobody shows. Because that's the two people they can't ever tell is coming. Because we don't ever walk them out of the box. Right. And we even have a bullet show call, meaning if you're in four wideouts, we're going to show zone. So if you come out doubles, the mic, the waist side linebacker is going to walk out. He's going to give a fire call, and he's going to run a smoke. He'll come off the edge. He'll come off the edge, and the other guy will run Sounds through. Like old, and we'll play it out it's of like a Tim tech. call. You go. Yeah, it's like tech. You know, it's like, you. like you're saying with tech. Yeah. They said they'll so they smoke that safety and let the linebacker well, come off the edge. Well, and one of the things we're going to get into later on in the spring because they're always looking for our safeties to come is to create dogs four from a side with our linebackers. We play a Tim call, so we play double twos. Mm -hmm. What it is, whoever's going to walk out comes. He sets behind him. This guy's going to blitz wherever side goes. So, but he's saying fire, and he's coming off the edge. So fire, he fans. He's a free release. What would you call me here? What are you talking about? Call is bullet show. Ty G Tim bullet show. Okay. Now this guy offsets. Okay? If he offsets, then he's going to offset where you can create a dogs. If he offset the other way, but that is just the way we build in the bullets. The bullet show is we're going to show zone and we're going to come. So if you come out and line up and trips open, mm -hmm. come off the edge. then the Sam's walking out to his zone alignment. He's coming. Now the Mike's doing what that guy did in one back. The, the backer in the nest is blitzing the BGF to the back side. Uh, you Correct. Know, if he's at home to the flow side, if he's offset to that side. Correct. Okay. Backs at home, is he going to the back's release or is yeah. he puts him to the back's? Well, we we'll usually have a silver on, so if that guy back flares right now, the ends, which is building every call, they flare off and take him and the linebacker's running through. 
but the safety's responsible for them. Somebody is. Unless you never release your back, and then we're not we're going to build it in until you make us cover. Okay, let's here. We're going to cover two at the top. Two five. That's what it is. No, yeah, it is two five. See what the front is here. Three techniques into the boundary. Rip. Now the two guys that hurt us here is linebackers, but both because because both of them didn't fight pressure. Took the easy release. He pulled himself back out. He pulled himself back out. Yeah, about as far as I can back or leave the box. Right yes. There. And really what should have happened here? This guy here should have centered up more a little bit. Would have helped himself a little bit because of the pull. Again, look how fast the free safety shows. He's hitting the guy at about three and a half yards. Now you talked about your crossing routes, this up here. Well, no, they didn't get them here. They're going to try to set choice routes down. Two five again. Two five into the boundary. You see here, the free safety sits nice in the choice. I wish he'd slow down a little bit because he turned too soon. He's going to fit him up more, right? Yeah, I'd like for him not to turn until I got to his hip. Until he got to his shoulder. Right. That's the, that's what I like. I told you about linebacker slow him down to a walk. That's yeah, what I like that guy to do. Run by, huh? How? If you let that guy run in a vertical, get to your shoulder, and you're sitting. And that's you're... what I tell you about cover five, and as far as I'm concerned with our corners. No, we ain't I'm talking it. about the free safety. No, we ain't gonna get run by. Well, at least we haven't. We're gonna pin the shoulder and clip it. Five on the back side. See, this was the little read they were trying to do to us. Because watch what this guy does. Yeah. They're trying to get this guy to look outside at number one and then take off and go. Mm -hmm. Now, I tell you, the guy's not very good here. Yeah, he should get some width to him. And this ass needs to be, he's the wall player. Yeah, wall him up. That is our number one thing that our, our, when we, what we have to get better in the spring at is our wayside linebacker. You like what the strong safety did there? That's pretty nice. You think he's getting an out call or? Could be. You're not going to get a China call on this, are you? No, because it's over five. This would, this would be an in call. But you would get a China in router if it was? Yeah. We're getting any time corners, whether it's two blue or five, if the number one receiver sits yeah, down at five call. yards, we're getting a China call. And That's it's telling cool. somebody to run to it. Particularly in five, a lot of people won't make a China call in five. They'll let that corner play the. China route. And yeah. they'll let the linebacker and the safety up to the Because a lot of people take that inside receiver and sitting down as opposed to running the corner. In fact, that's, you doing that. in fact, that's what sent, that's what, uh, that's what uh, uh, UTEP did to us. And they, yep, last, second to last game of the season. Now we came out with its second or third, whatever it is, we came out with nickel. We played the zero fiddle call. So we're playing fiddle doubles, man press on both sides. Are you playing double fiddle? Yep. So we're showing double smoke. Okay. Now just real quick, I know we haven't talked through this coverage, but if you get a crossing route by one of the inside receivers, he's got him. He's got he's him. Got him. He's, he, he just waits for the next crossing route. Okay. Well, he's not trying to get to the middle of the field or anything. No. Now, if you get a uh, straight to the flat, your outside guys are taking them. Now your two inside safeties are just kind of robbing in there looking for crossers. They look to the outside number ones now. The backers right. got the okay. back. Man to man. Huh? Backers yep. got back man to man. Film. And they're going to hurt us in a minute because what they're going to do is I'm going to come back. It's the last time I'm going to call this call game. They're going to run four verticals. And they're going to run the, the run and shoot slip screen. Slip, yeah. And so you got a linebacker on everybody in their army here. It's like Eastern Michigan. So what we did after this, instead of playing when we came in, we played 22. So we kept flat players and still got the vertical players we wanted. Gary, are you, are you always going to press like in, in uh, zero fiddle? We press, we bail, or play off. Well, you just said zero fiddle, you're off. If we're off. If we want zero fiddle press, then again, I call what, I'm going to call what I want the corner He's expecting no help from any. I mean, he's not reading number two's release to know if he's getting uh, inside help from the yep. safety, is he? Or no, is he? and now it's, they go back to a good point now. Here we go again. Zero, here's another way to play all this. Again, zero, free, hold. 
Who did I tell to play the hole? Same guy I told in solo hole. Now this week, safety six here. He plays the hole. He plays free. Yeah. Okay. Zero fiddle always talks to free safety. And I, if I said zero fiddle, and then I said deep. He go deep. He go deep. These guys know they play outside leverage, or the this guy would, and he'd be the deep player. Again, I'm changing up coverages, but I'm not changing up Technique. how much stuff people have to learn because mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that very much. We're going to come down and play the same things. Now, I'm going to tell you, these guys are pretty good. And this guy, 39 at the top, is a, is a redshirt freshman. And this guy down here at the bottom, I, see, Greg is going to be a senior, but I'm telling you, he's not more than 4'6". But he's 6'1". Or he hit up. We play inside eye. Inside, inside eye. Inside eye. On our press, on our press line, what we're going to do, what we want to do is we want to, we don't want to get physical unless you make it be physical. Ball's in here, and I'm on the inside eye. On a snap, when the movement happens, I want to do this. So if you go quick release, I can stop you. Where they get in trouble is this, and where they get in more trouble is when they try to use two hands, because when the guy outside releases, you can't play man press because the first thing you do is you got to do this, and you're in trouble position. Your ass is beat all day. So what you want to do is we want to create this. And what we do is, is progression-wise, is you now become an open step. Now, we're, our guys will get in trouble as they open if they try to get on top too much, and that guy takes that inside hand and clubs you. So you've got to stay on the shoulder, clip it, and when he tries to come across, you've got to throw it. And if he does get here, then we whip turn and we come back down. We teach in man coverage three phases, and that way I can teach my guys what they're good at. We call it the jam phase, the stretch phase, and the long ball phase. What aren't you, where are you getting beat at? Well, if you're getting beat in the jam phase, you're going to have your butt's going to be beat all the time. So how are you doing in this three-yard box? Then how are you doing? Are you watching the hip when you get in the stretch? And then how are you playing the deep ball? And usually, now they know what they need to work on. A young player needs to work on all three. No. How much do you usually bring the inside hand? Always, yes. Always and inside. then if they do cross your face, so if I'm here, I hear he takes the hard release, now the next, the next hand is coming is this one, and now I'm pressing his ass right down the line of scrimmage. Gary, are you taking the, uh, are you taking the safeties and working that, or are you sending them Yeah, the no, I do the coach? same thing. I coach the three safeties just exactly like that. So you don't take, send them to the corner coach for man work? No. When we do one-on-one, -on -one, we got two lines on both sides. <clears throat> H's, Z's, tight ends, wide outs. My safeties work on the inside twos and the corners work on the outside. And if the corners get too fast, because and still they don't, they're not read back pedal, because you've got to play slower on the inside guys, I'll make the corners come in and play the inside guys all day, because it's a lot harder. My, my safeties love to go out and play outside. That 215 strong safety, he'll go out here and play all day, because he knows. Fade, slant, when you play press. You play in here, it's slant, cross your face, out, corner out. I mean, it's... So obviously you're doing your, your man stuff, not when an inside drill's going on or anything. No, we do it when they do Oklahoma. The front people are doing Oklahoma versus a D lineman and the O lineman in the back. Uh -huh. We're doing one-on-one. -on -one. And then if they're doing another half zone where they're just doing half line stuff, then we're still, we might go 10 minutes of one-on-one. -on -one. When they go to middle drill, my guys are going to middle drill. Now, my safeties, when they get the middle drill, will not tackle a middle drill or they won't stay there very long. Mm -hmm. All I want them to learn how to do, free safety learns yeah. how to run the alley, and the outside safety's learn how to overlap mm -hmm. and fit. Because if we don't run a good net where you see the outside guys coming, you can't play this defense. That's why we teach the triangle drill or what I call the diamond drill, because I think that in life, that life is what, what this defense is all about. You teach everything in that drill that safety's gonna do on the field most of the time. I think this is where they get us with the slip screen. I think this is fourth down and like two. And this linebacker should have treated it. It is. See, they ran us off in verticals. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Bad call. Bad, bad call. So what was your call here? Zero fiddle. And we got nickel in the game, so we're fiddling on both sides. <laughs> and holding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. They don't call holding anymore, only tackling sometimes. Bronco at the top, 
We're playing two, two Bronco. And it looks like we probably, the way we're reading here, it looks like we got a bullet on. Yeah. So we're playing zone. We're, we're bringing linebackers and playing zone. Now it's going to hurt me this next call. They're going to throw the quick slant on robber coverage and the free safety is not going to break fast enough. Right over here. Trapping it. Great job. You don't want to know why this guy's pretty good. Watch this. Yeah. You like that backer to fit outside that veer, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well. In this trap? Yes. Again, one of the problems you have is you're playing things you're up so tight because you're playing the inside game, you're yeah. going to you lose things because of it also. Right. Okay, obviously, but middle of the field, double width, reading to the left. Right. Reading right here? Yeah, I'm just, yeah. you would always read, yeah, we'd always read left in the middle of the field. Okay. Balance set. I shouldn't say balance. Uh, that's too wide on each side. Yeah, tight end, twins on the other. You're reading the twins. Twins, side. that's correct. It's a great throw. What coverage are you in here? Gary? Robert at the bottom. I try to stay away from so man as long as. Looks like you're in Bronco again at the top. Yeah, we were. See, this is. It looks like you're in a lot of Bronco, which when I talk to those guys in North Dakota, I mean, that's their base way of doing it. Yeah, ours is not. They're going to lock at, and then any trips are going to trap it. Now we did because we were trying to. I was trying to keep the linebackers. In. These guys know they don't have to leave out of here as much as if you have a four wide, uh, back up to blue, and then this guy's got to right. ride more because he's got to mm -hmm. handle things more. Again, don't always have a reason for why you call while you're having something in your package. If, it, if there's not a reason for it, you just want to do it. Then we got man on. We're a man free. He's got. He had the trips guy. Here's the free player. We're bringing one line back. Okay. So what would this call be? Uh, looks like we have a. I can't tell which one it is, but it looks like we have a Sam or a Mike on, and we have zero free call. Okay. And it's press. Zero free press. Again, not a bad outside move. Only talks to that's I only talks the outside guys. Okay. Only talks the corners. Only thing I don't like about what the corner at the bottom does is I think he's on his heels, myself personally. Now yeah, you, free safety, your middle safety there, is that how deep you want to go? Yeah, because he actually has three. Oh, this is not. This well, in three, three because three. we balance over because we're not going to move out. The guy, when we say zero free, when they go trips opens the weak, he's going to be the third player. He's going to be the middle third player. We're not going to run the weak over and give away the disguise, which you'd like to see from him is a little bit deeper, possibly. But here again. See, he was going to take him, but then he went back and went back to the three. They just passed him off. Mm -hmm. Here we're going to go, because they were running those cross routes, we went to cover five at the top. Change up call, don't do it a lot. Thought at the bottom. Looks like five also. Yeah, it is. But the guy that hurt us here, was the linebacker. See, they did that little thing, and he sure. thought, when he looked outside, he thought he was the China. And he's not. He should have been running underneath this right here. Next guy, is yes, huh? The other guy that didn't help, the corner's not physical enough. Again, I've already told you what I thought of our corner play. You can see here, once two stopped, look what the weak safety did. He went to start looking up one, then he saw the guy come back, right. so it came back to him. We're in a boundary call again, and they got a boundary text on here. Text, when we call by itself, is always the three technique, call side, tackle, and end. X is always going to stop at the 50 side unless we say double text. And I can say this anywhere. It can be field, split, boundary, type. Right. The same thing with the X. Then if we called Cobra with this, then they'd be both up the field and then make their move. These guys ended up 25 and 55 in this ball game, I think. Yeah, 
bullets on? No, we actually have here in the free safety and get over. We actually have short dogs on here for sure zero, okay. and zero bail this time. And I'd like if you're asking the question, the same question I ask, get your ass over here. Mm -hmm. But again, we guessed. They ran a run play, and it's, now you've got a lot of people in the box. I've got seven, you had five. Who were we watching where they didn't get him over? Is that Virginia Tech? Yeah. He was in the middle of the field running, the snap of the ball to cover that guy. I mean, they wanted the skies more than they wanted uh, Yeah, and that's the wrong team to do that against. No, well, Virginia Tech was on defense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Florida State's the wrong one to be running somewhere to cover. Oh, uh, that's what we were watching against somebody else. Now, there's a pretty good robber technique down here. Now, this one, here's what he said in Bronco. I said, Reggie, what were you doing? He says, I don't know, but I'm awake now. Well, no shit. <laughs> You're awake now. See, the way that should have been played, number one, he needs to be inside leverage. Again, what are we trying to force them to do? Throw it long. Okay, here you're going to see a good solo call and playing robber out here. Solo at the top, read and right, we've got cover two. Solo player is going to come over and handle the choice route. Well, I was going to ask you that. Right here. You know, if that guy's a tight end or a tight slot, obviously this is a little better to play. If he gets out that wide, <clears throat> this guy should have widened a little bit, but we're all playing. Well, okay. Because the key is, see, where that free safety stands, you can't stand up and throw it, because we might be in roll coverage. How about if you got something like this, Jerry? Because we, we get this from, I don't know, I'm sure from Marshall, but we get stuff that looks like that. I'd check roll to it. As opposed to solo. Yeah, you might solo it too, but I'd play roll to it. Anytime they get tight, I get wide. They're trying to catch you in a man concept when they do right. it. Mm -hmm. You might even play, I tell you what you might even do is you might even play cover five over that look right there and still play solo and wait for the third guys to come over. Now here's the whole thing. You think, you know, people know we play solo, so just like, oh, you think, everybody says, well, why don't they throw back your one-on-one? Because when this guy lines up here, you don't know the guy in the half. Right. He's going to help or he's going to come over here. And if he'd do a little bit better of just backfilling over, this guy couldn't read his shoulders anyway. Right. Instead of turning and opening like he does. Good job of shuffling. Let's see, we got up front. I think, I don't think we had a twist on here. I think it's just a straight pass rush. Now, this is safety here. This You're is the wall player. Gary. Yeah, we're in nickel. Is this game later in the season? Uh, we were actually three and fourth this time. Just got beat by Rice. Could have quit. Got down at their house. This is two years ago, Coach? No, this is this last year. Past season. This actually is the start of running. We didn't lose anymore the rest of the way out. These guys were pretty, pretty good now, weren't they? Huh? This guy's record was Yeah, they beat Oregon State in the, in the yeah, Loja Bowl. Yeah, they played really well, that's right. I'm telling you right now, and defensively, they were really good, too. But they had the guy that went to, tech, that went to Texas Tech. I think he averaged loud about 400 yards a game against the option. It'd be interesting to see how he does in the Big 12 doing that. Navy had almost, Navy had like six runners and five runners about had 100 yards in the game. Got beat 48 to 44. We had we had 400 yards running the option against him over here. And that's without our starting tailback. We played with a walk-on tailback. Huh? Went where? Hawaii went to Texas Tech. Texas Tech, that's right. He was hired by a service. He's not the uh, coordinator. McMacken? Yeah. I think so. so. I think he went for his coordinator. Now this is, this is nickel, and it's 22. We're playing robber coverage on both sides. One linebacker. Now we've got a tech stunt on. we got a tech stunt on, and this helped that little slip screen this time. They tried to catch us in zero fiddle again, and this time we got support out here. What helped us, though, was the twist because it slowed him down enough that this thing happens just quick enough that this didn't happen.
that was a strong safety in junior college. He, he played at Tyler Junior College, was a strong safety. His name is uh, London Dunlap. When he got here, he was 198 pounds. He grew to be 235, around 4'5'4". Plays defensive. He, he was most valuable player of the, of the Sun Bowl, and he didn't start. He plays behind 14. He's from Houston. He just graduated from, in fact, he was going to graduate school with senior. Oops, so long. <laughs> Can I ask on that is it just doesn't leave? Right, right. silence. And well, you know, it's not one of those silence and everything like that. It just, you know, how we are in this profession pretty soon, you know, all that stuff coming back. I watched their, uh, yeah. their uh, defensive line clinic tape, Jim. Mm -hmm. you know, Kind of like the tape you did. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have game clips on it. Just has all his drills. You know, everything he does has something between their legs. But um, they got a real nice sled on there. You know, explosion sled. You know, yeah. Can we get one of those? Huh? Yeah, sure. All right, be, all right, Gary. Why don't all right, we're going to dogs right now instead of the drill? Okay. So, I think that's the next thing we're getting ready to go into, right? Yeah. The thing. I, here, here's what we need to go back on. Zero. Go zero. Part well, zero, we can teach. I'll, I'll, what I'll do if you want me to, I will teach you how how I was teaching somebody they're going to run our blitz package. And basically, it'll be the bullets, smokes, and then it'll go right in the dogs. Should you teach zero first or teach it with dogs? No, I teach, it with, I teach zero first, but only briefly because I'm just going to okay, teach we'll do it that way. Case. And the other thing, watching some of your cut ups this morning, I'm not. I, a lot of the times it would say flip, but then they're playing man out there. They're not playing the zone. Yeah, we, we would change it up by gameplay. That's okay. correct. So you'd say anytime you flip, anytime, you might say. I might say play cover five out there. I might say play a squat and the inside guy play half, but I'll change that on the sidelines. All right, so but give me a call with flipping. Two blue flip. Okay, two blue flip, okay. They flip, they're going over and playing whatever flip coverage I tell them that we're doing. That's right game plan that week. Most of the time, it's they say, well, Coach, are we playing flip regular? Then okay. That means we're playing blue. So if you're playing man, let's say you're playing man flip, what are the people on the backside doing? Uh, like, give me a, just draw, draw <clears throat> me a twin setup. You got two blue flip, and flip this week is man with corners over. Yeah, we have. In fact, you see it in you'll see it in our scrimmage. <clears throat> Depends on what you, what your back set is. If your back set's over, a lot of times what we'll play either we'll play it free, and he has him. If we play slide, we'll do that. I'll play zero free with it because you've overshifted to a four three. If I haven't overshifted to a four three, and what I'll do is play the fiddle call. We're all outside, inside this guy, and leave these guys on islands. But I, I guess my point is, when Flip is man, you're man on the some type of man on the backside. Yeah, except, <clears throat> and when we call it two blue flip, we can still check sky back here, meaning we're in cover two. Weak safety, free safety. If you were in over here, he moved back over to check sky, so we're here. So they're playing cover two on the backside like this, so this guy can be in a run leverage. And then if you offset him where we don't have a run leverage problem, and he goes ahead and says flip, 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 then we don't slide. Now he's playing, basically now we're playing man across the board. Basically everything's going to be set up to make sure we can keep run leverage, whether it's zero or we start with a two blue call. Okay. I don't, did I answer your question? Yeah, I just, I mean, that part starts to sound a little complicated to me now. I mean, there's a lot well, of, uh, of, you know. If it's zone, basic teaching, I use what I will play if it's if, if it was two blue flip, doesn't matter how we're playing flip, I guess is my point to you. If I come out here and tell them to play man coverage, because of me, as far as I'm concerned, quarters coverage is man coverage anyway. We're just if the guy ran a hitch in corner in blue, though, this guy's gonna sink, we're gonna cover and we're gonna if we're gonna give anything away, we're gonna give away the hitch. These guys again don't care. I'm giving them the flexibility within two blue flip to check sky. If I call it zero, which is going to make these guys flip anyway because we're in man coverage, mm -hmm. then they're not going to have that flexibility yeah. back here. They're either going to have to come back here and play a fiddle, uh -huh. or they'll play it free. Okay. But they're going to be within the man man coverage family. They're not going to be able to come back here and say sky, right. which right. is cover two. Okay. <clears throat> All right.
take us through zero. Again, I teach out of a one back set. If you call zero by itself, <clears throat> again, just like in zone, you count from the outside in. If we called zero and we didn't say anything else, the way this would work is the corners would always have number one because you've got seven coverage players. Safeties always have number two if he's outside of the tight end box. So in this case, this number two, the weak safety would have. This way you'd have, we'd always have an automatic. The linebackers would know they'd have a fiddle, a two-on-one. One would have him. One would be free to rush or drop or whatever we told him. So if you wanted a five-man rush all the time, you'd have it. If you gave a single width, the corners would come over. And they eliminate themselves. So now the counts start for the strong safety, the next guy in. He's still going the strength of the passing formation. Again, the free safety still the free guy. Okay, so tell me that they eliminate themselves. We don't put them in the count. Okay, we strong safe, safety usually has two, so now yeah. you're saying he's got one. No, what I'm saying to you is, no, is, what, guy in the count. is we don't ever, we, you start with a balanced formation when you start teaching them. If the guy's not there, we, you bump everybody down, so the corner's not here, so this guy, even though that, that is a number one, there's nobody else left to cover him because the corner's flipped. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Within this, if this guy went in the backfield now, now it's both linebackers have him, now the weak safety's free. Okay. Just, we're just calling zero, so yeah. two guys free, five guys got coverage. Okay? okay? <clears throat> now when we start talking about a blitz package... Now, once I got him, I, once I ride it... Hard? Yep. I sat on, I ride him. Correct. Anybody there. There's no bumping. No bumping. If the back goes out of the back, we would say Yes. We would do, we, if, if we game plan that type of situation. What if you went out the other way? Went out the other way, do the same thing, the free safety could handle him if that's what we wanted him to do. Because he still got okay, the You keep saying what we, if we wanted to do, what, well, you have to have a base way, right? Base way would be hard focus the first time. After that, then it's going to be, that guy's a great, is that guy a great wide receiver? He is, then we're going to want to safety. The reason I'm saying in the base way, you stay with them right now, mm -hmm. because when we get into blitz, and they don't know where their help is. Okay. So you said you're not saying the free safety will even take you. are talking about that linebacker no. would take him as a base way. Yes. Right now, if he but starts if the, weak, the weak safety would take him. That's, that's the yeah, base way. Yeah. But I guess what I'm saying to you is, if it went like this, when you have two guys free, you have two guys free, that doesn't that doesn't hurt because he'd be the free player now. Right. Same way you saw in trips open when the free safety walked up and took number three and the weak safety's out. Right. But before, before you, you're asking me to give you examples, first let me teach you okay. and then you'll understand why. Okay, so let's go to bullets. <coughs> bullets tells we're going to bring two backers. Don't matter what's on that blitz card, don't matter when they're, where they're coming from, what's going on, just bullets because we're talking for coverage, okay? And that's where we want to teach it. So bullets, we're going to use zero with it. Okay, now the free safety hears bullets. So he comes out and he says, he gonna, we line up to the strength of the formation just like we do in zone. Free safety says read and left, but you know strong safety's not coming because of bullets. So strong safety, I got him. Well, next guy, there's no tight end, so free safety has him. Now he's going to line up like he's going to read the passing formation, try to cover up, look like cover two, and he has the back. Again, so if this guy came over here, the count, again, he has him. Now he has the number three. The weak safety has the back. Because all they do is count from the outside in. They know that they have to have somebody because these guys are coming. Different from any other scheme, when you put five DB guys in here, this is a lot more easy than what you think it is because it just starts, everybody starts counting outside side in. If I went over here and put quads over here, this guy, if I had to find it, he would come over and have somebody. Right. Because you just keep counting until you find one. Mm -hmm. You always have two. Exactly. Free safety would always have first. Strong safety always two. <clears throat> now, so, bullets meant backers. So if you came out and empty,
Strong safety S2, free safety S3, weak safety S2 on the other side. No problem. So bullets goes in two places, right? It's, it's on this card and it's also you signal it over. I, I just signal like this. I, I say one and then I go zero to, to the second right. They, Mark just goes bullets and goes one. Right. And that's one the front six. Oh, well, whatever number one on that card says, right. so they or three or five or seven. And the secondary, I got to let them know. So I go one, and one means bullets to the secondary. But they don't have to look and see that it's tight G bullets. No, they don't look at anything in the front. They don't care about what, what the, all they know is the linebackers are going. Okay, so what, all right, so one means bullets, okay? For me, as a secondary guy. A secondary. You say that's his signal to those right. guys. So. Right. Yes. Two is going to mean bullets thunder. I mean, we, we, we've added something to bullets. Three is wide dogs for us. Four is short dogs, so I pair them together. Wide and short. Five, five is odd man out, so that's mob. That's eight man. We have to play it with a cop. Six is T dogs, and seven is S dogs. So, so tight end is split. Remember, remember, remember that. Yep, and everywhere from the Naval Academy to New Mexico to here, and they learned it in about two seconds. I mean, it's really, and that's exactly, this is exactly what the guys at TCU said. Because we can't do that. Well, here, two seconds. Now, what, what, what do you remember one was? Oh, it's bullets. Oh, yeah. Now, you're not quite the dumbass that you thought. Just tell me what they were. <laughs> one was bullets, two was bullets, uh, thunder, three was, uh, three was, uh, white uh, dogs, white dogs, short dogs, mob. And then uh, T dogs, T -dogs, T -dogs, T -dogs yeah. three was wide and short. Yeah, T yeah. was wide and four was short. Well, but I mean, you could do it any, any way you want to. I just want to get the concept down. Yeah. Wide dogs, four was short. Yeah. Okay, what was five? Mob. 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 What was six? T. T. T dogs or yeah. T dogs. Okay. What was seven? Split. Split dogs, S dogs. S dogs. What was eight? No eight. Okay. Eight's uh, eight actually not any folks on there. No, because I do short smoke, wide smoke. Okay, so it's a smoke. I signal smokes. Smokes, I signal. Okay. And then just out of curiosity, one is what? Three Bullets? Your signal. Two. I use, huh? Bullets thunder. Okay, what's, no, I'm, yeah. What's, uh, what's this mean? That's my indicator that, that they know that every game I change it to something I touch and give it so they know it's not a coverage. So when I go to my head and I go two, they know it's bullets thunder, not cover two. Mm -hmm. oh. And then I put then it's zero. So I go bullets thunder, you know, I go bullets and then zero press. What's zero? Man. What's your signal? And for the follower we're gonna change that. Been doing them too long. Cause I'm not. See again, I'm not very smart. Two, five, blue, <laughs> flip. All right. Now, <clears throat> do me one favor, Gary. Sure. I don't ask examples, but uh, give me a tight end on one, just like you got. Okay. Okay. Weak safety's got number two there. Okay. Free safety straight. You guys got the back. In bullets no, or, or just zero? From zero. I'm running bullets. Bullets, free safety's got the back. Okay. That tight end gets steps back and taps across. Is your weak safety going with him or is he bumping the other safety? Wait, the older safeties now would bump and the free safety would hand him and the weak safety would have the back. Okay, so it's not true to say once you saddle him, you ride him, because that's not what and you're doing. And that's why preps it by our older safeties. Our younger safeties, that younger safety, chase him over and cover him. All right, now how about your, you got old safeties in there and, and uh, this wide out motions across. Corner, st strong safety, have them all the way. He's not screwing around with you. The only thing that would happen right over here, because you're using a tight end when this guy got about right here, strong safety's yelling badge under the weak. And then would the weak continue out with him no. when he, once he yep. went out? Yeah, he's inside, he's outside, so as he goes out, he has him and he comes to him. <clears throat> And is all of that inside man? Yes, sir. Even on the inside receivers? Yes, sir. Because you have no help. And they're just looking right at them, or are they looking at quarterback to man? No, it, no. When we're, 
when you're on the inside guy, you can't look at man. Okay. Outside guy, you might three step read. Only if you're off. And most of the time, we're bail or press. Off man, you'd read the quick slant, you know, the three step. But when you're in bail or press, you're looking right at the guy. All right. Next thing you teach now is, is smokes. Before you get into smokes, I got two more questions on bullet. Okay, go ahead. Right, just give me a twin set, two backs. Okay. All right, which safety's got the tight end? Depending on the back set. If it's a run formation, he's got a leverage problem. So what are you going to say to the free safety? They're going banjo. So they're going banjo, so they turn this into a two-on-two two because he's got to be able to play toss sweep. He's got to be able to play, he's got to be able to play the pass. So here, wherever tight end and two back, <clears throat> and it's going to happen in dogs, smokes, and, and uh, bullets. If you have a natural leverage problem <clears throat> where you've got to be able to do more than one thing, and you can't do that, that's when a banjo comes into effect. Not only going to happen there, but here's what's going to happen here, Chuck. Tight end pro. Now it's going to be the strong safety and the three. Now the weak's back here. Hopefully he would show a half so he wouldn't give it away. But if the backs were strong here or split on a tight end side, you'd have a banjo call between the outside and inside. If the guy was away, there'd be no banjo. If there was a banjo, what it might be, it might be between the weak and the free because of on these two have got, you know, getting this kind of situation. If they were doing that kind of stuff. All right, so go back to my tight end there. Okay. All right, so your support sky there, right? Yep. But I don't say Sky, Banjo built it in, but yes, you are support Sky. Okay. Um, this safety you got out over here, he's got the, he's got the uh, first back out that side. That's correct. He's got first guy himself. Yep. Okay. All right. So he's going to slide in there a little bit. Z goes across in motion. Are we going to get a Banjo between the weak safety and the corner? No, not usually. Not usually will we, we, we Banjo with the corners. But if, if they were stopping here, after one time, then they start doing that. <coughs> but really, what you don't have to do, because most of the time, if they start in a wing, we would banjo it with a corner. And I showed it in the East Carolina game. Okay. But if he doesn't, because what happens is we're already going to keep natural leverage with this guy anyway, because uh, we already have a banjo call already. They've already they've already made this situation for him. All right. How about if both these guys are close together out here? Are you going to banjo that? To yeah, corners? if you have a pit type situation, which it could be this, or it could come out here, it could be a trips type situation if you know, this guy wasn't being, but whoever had it, now this might be the corner and the strong safety. Corner's man, and these guys would back up to seven. He'd play inside eye, he'd play outside eye, and he'd play everything up to three to four yards, depending on when they, they like to pick. After that, then you got your guy. What we found is people try to work down the field. If you try to do it too long, you get yourself in about as much trouble by doing what you did. So usually we find out if they're going to hot and they think it's a hot game, we're going to get it within four yards. The hardest one is when they both do the same thing, both out, both slam. Right. Well, the hardest thing is if the outside guy goes vertical and the inside guy goes out, isn't it? Well, a little bit. We work on that all the time. The hardest thing for this guy, because he's anticipating somebody coming at him, is when they both they wrote, both run double slants. And so when he's he giving an in call, because he's thinking he's sitting here giving an in call, mm -hmm. and that guy ain't helping him, he's got to drive back late because right. that guy's already drove on that. Right. This is hardest because of the route that's coming to it. When this guy does this and this. You know, that would be the, but if that's not the hardest communication one that you have. That's the hardest because they're running away from you. All right. Your 
corn will come out on the shallow one. Yeah. That's why you can't let them be in more, in, more any more than inside and outside eye when they play the banjo because if they work too far inside, he really doesn't have a chance. How to close play. do they got to get together before you bet start? To four. Four. No, no. If they get four or smaller, then they got a chance with banjo. Any wider now, we won't do it. Okay, so say they're five. Make them five yards apart. Okay. Now, is anybody going to press? You didn't. Are they both all off, all at the same level? No. <clears throat> The corner, the corner's probably going to press. Our rule is usually if you have, without even putting this guy, whether it's five or not, usually the inside guy, outside guy will press. The inside guy will play off unless you are inverting people, and then we will play, we will press the guy that's on the line of scrimmage. That's about the same thing you do in the world. Okay, go ahead. Bullets only with uh, <coughs> zero, Gary? Uh, no. If you give us, well, for example, you'll see in our practice, our game deal, let's say you're getting pro set. Okay? I will play two blue Bronco to this. Because Bronco told him he's got the vertical of two. And he's got the flats, so basically you're handling it there. You already basically got a banjo. Cover two is a banjo. You got an outside inside. So you can run in two backs easily, whether it's twins or pro. You can run. You can run all you want to run and handle everything that they can do, pass wise. Because he's sitting off different than three deep. He's sitting on the choice yeah. where anything that's going to happen. You got a first guy outside. You got a first guy outside this direction. The only thing is that people, you know, are getting split back teams are going to run things under inside, but if they're doing that, usually you're holding them because they're also usually reading the running backs or linebackers. So you have only two blue Bronco versus 21 person? No, well, well, just whatever, what, in our zone coverage, uh, like one back, we're, we play USC, we play USC and I play, and they're getting, they're getting 11 personnel. First, third, well, the second, third down, we run bullets and we played because they didn't ever release the back. We played two blue or blue, blue five, you know, whatever. Wouldn't usually you play a five call back here because you know you're leaving yourself really underneath zone. But we played two blue to them and ran linebackers through with them two or three times. Because again, you got a natural progression. The only thing you're not handling is that. And, we're going to probably have a hard time if we're blitzing six and they only have five blocking yeah. us and we're not getting there anyway. So you just played blue on the other side? Yep. Didn't even play Bronco then. The thing with your blue is a little bit that if that tight end went to the flat right now, the corner would play him and that safety would go. So I saw that in your practice tape one time that, that safety had a hard time getting to that guy. They ran tight end flat. Take off. Take off, and that safety, you know, <coughs> beat pretty good. That, that makes me a little nervous, you know. But. I understand. There's a whole bunch of things about my practice that make a lot of people nervous. <laughs> <coughs> but for us, I trade, I trade some things for as hard as I play the safeties on their own. Mm -hmm. A lot of people play the coverage where guys are shuffling backwards and then they come up and they're late guys. That's just, that's just part of it. Is there, when you get into this, uh, you know, running bullets with your, with your base zones, going into some things, is there anything that gets you out of that? I mean, is there mm -mm. something that happens? You know, we'll even run it versus empty. Show me, show me your own. Because when you go to empty, probably what I'm going to call us, then for an empty call, I'd use special, I'd use special, I'd use bronco. So the special, we're over here. And the mini two. Yeah, and now we're playing Bronco. So basically, we're in a man kind of conscious. The only thing we're turning loose is that guy goes there. Okay. But I mean, we've ran bullets and run double uh, pop, which means we're running them through and the tackles are whichever way they step, and then they're, they step out. Yeah. Now, see, I guess my point with you is we're talking cover and do it. 
about any way anybody wants to do it because the front covers don't have anything to do right. with each other. I can drop, like, <clears throat> I guess people are on jailbreaks. Right. We'll, we'll call a double stay call, which stay tells us that the ends are going to step. They're going to, if you get a run read, they're going to play run. If they, if they get a pass set, they get a pass set, then they're opening and looking for jailbreaks. Because right. we got, we get a lot of jailbreak teams in the line. Right. <clears throat> so you run the linebackers through and they, they became your quick set, quick hot guys on both sides. And that, that's a really good call versus empty groups. <clears throat> yeah, we use that as part of our, part of our tornado pack. But again, we, we didn't like to do that a whole lot because we get such pressure out of four-man group, yeah. you know, it's, right. you know which, which guys do you want to sacrifice with? Unless you're breaking protections. And you ha definitely have a, a, a make on it. All right. Smokes. Okay, before you go to smokes, Gary. Yes, sir. Can you explain us a little bit later on on all the different ways you bring bullets. You, know, you got OK, you got AB. Oh, we can do that. Cross. Well, <clears throat> big thing is we're going to call the front, just like you see on the watch. We're going to tell the linebackers where to run through. So we call tight G. We call tight G. And we run. We're going to say for linebackers, we're just running gaps. If we don't see anything. They're running through their gap responsibility in the defense. So if you call tight G bullets, Sam, the Eagle side backers running through the A gap and the Mike's running through the B gap. If once we become a double call, then it's whatever front you have. Uh, you saw today, for example, last night, outlaws, so they lined up in double threes and we went bullets B. So you create anything you want to, they cross. If I just said outlaw bullets, they're just running through the A. That's correct. Boundary, Toro, Bullets, Okie. Okay. Boundary sets the, the three technique to the boundary. Boundary, Toro. We didn't, he didn't use a G call, so, so the hand was here. Yeah. Boundary, Toro, Bullets, Okie. Okie is a linebacker on the same side stunt. The side of the stunt, the mic, which is the mic, goes right now. He will read if he gets past set or back away, then he's rapping. If he gets back to him, as in a run fake, then he will play. He, he's the read side backer of that deal. He boards. He's a he's a he's, only, he's a flow blitz. Yes, flow sir. Blitz. Now we also you see in there. He's going to flow. Yes, sir. If sometimes you will all see Oki cross. Yeah. And what Oki cross means is he will now yeah, hit the A gap, and then if he gets anything away, he is the rap guy. Okay. Now, does he have that back? No, the free safety has them. Do you always run Oki bullets with a uh, Toro? Uh, most of the time. Could run it with a tank if you wanted to. If you wanted, to, like our offense, you want to get the guy outside to make sure you handle speed option. If there's a tight end, it's better call it a tank because now you're stepping the guy outside the tight end. Mm -hmm. Tank or Toro, huh? Yes, sir. What coverage you run? Any smokes? Huh? No, no smoke. No bullets. Zero. 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 Now I tell you, it's what the question you asked just before. Right? You can run zero. Any of the bullets can be run with two blue. Broad two blue. Broad. You know, I mean, if you're two back, then we can get into the other coverages. We call our one-man stunts with a linebacker: Sam, Mike, Mo, Sal. Which is Sam and Mike still to run through their gaps unless we change it. You know, like. Um, Sam tag, which we're taking the three technique and a gap. Bring oh, what did you move on to? You got off of bullets? No, I'm getting into bullets. Singles. These are single linebacker stunts. And the reason why you have to know this, this means Mike off the edge, right. out wide, right. Sam out wide. So the next way that we call bullets so you can create a 4-3. How do you pronounce that third word? Sal. No, third word. Oh. Mo. Mo. Mode one. Yeah, kind of. Like mode one. Yeah, mode one. Let's say you want to get to a double eagle look. So the call is tight take. Tight take, mo, take told the 50 side end to come in, just like it does if you're in front. Tight take, mo. 
Mo, thank you, Coach. Mo told the Mike at snap right before the snap the ball to walk up off the out, out wide and come. Since you didn't tell Sam anything, just like when you said tight bullets, he's running through the a gap. Give me the whole call again, Gary. Tight take Mo. Excuse me. Tight take bullets Mo. Bullets Mo. I think that's on the. I think it says stinger behind the Mo. If I'm an end, I, I hear the word mo also. You'll read it. I'll read it. Right? You'll, read it off, you'll read it off your watch. <coughs> but you don't care because all the word it meant to you was you were told what to do because you heard take. Take told him to go in the B gap. If you didn't hear a take, what that guy, if he walked off the edge, would do is he'd come up and say fire like a safety does when we're going to talk about smokes. Uh -huh. He'd walk up and say fire, which is telling him, I'm contained now. That guy fans. You're saying take. Just in case that guy didn't say. Well, that. I'm wanting to go in the B gap no matter what, because I'm going to I'm going to protect myself gap wise. And basically, I was now making a double legal look. He was saying the fire call as if Mike say was scheduled to go inside, but he got removed by. by yeah, well, you yeah, know, we're going to talk about that in a switch call. That's exactly right. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Now, what about the uh, so if let's the just show, show call you said was show zone or something like that? Yeah. yeah. What bullets show is, <clears throat> is because we don't know which, when you're in a four wide situation, we don't know if you're going to come out trips open or you're going to come out doubles. Okay? So when we put the word show on it, what we're saying is, we're, we, the way we taught it is we're showing zone. So who's going to remove, who would remove themselves in a normal zone situation? Okay. In this okay. case, the mic would. We call it with a tight G10, so we're playing double twos. Fire call there. Safety walk, the linebacker walks out here because he knows he's going to come off the edge. He's giving a fire call to the end because let him know he's coming off the edge. Yeah. So now what we look like is what we look like in coverage. Now right before the snap the ball, because we what we do though is if you sit behind the, if this Sam sits behind, the back sits behind the quarterback, he doesn't know which way he can go. You don't want to be just telling him to run through here and you don't have anybody in the gap. So what he does is flow blitz. So whichever way the back goes, he's running through that B gap. The mic's coming off the edge, like our offense does, and they're getting four wide out. So they're going to be back most of the time in gun and offset. So right now, that Sam linebacker knows he's coming. So what have we created over here? Four man blitz. Four man off the side. We're using our linebackers and we're in zone. Now they come out and they line up in trips open. <clears throat> Now Sam's walked out because that's what he does in their zone concept. Now he's the guy getting the fire call. Now this guy now because the back's there, he probably, he's going to be coming off this edge. Again, and that's what we want most of the time because that's the man's protection side anyway. That's the man protection side. We want to beat, we're going to try to beat the guy one-on-one. -on -one. We, like, we like backs on backers. <coughs> Stay in your zone with that? Could. Like with, with for, a solo uh, call or something? Yeah, or the Bronco call. Bronco. And usually I'd use a special call with this because I'm going to cover it up just a little bit more. Too many things can happen over here. Okay. So I call I call special, I call Bronco to tell us we're going to vertical number two with the weak safety and I've got him out flat. And special now, the only thing special doesn't have, does not help you with is a hard smash inside because that's where the linebackers always done good special. So that's when, if, they're, if, they, if you think that's what their hearts are, what their hearts are, then what you have to do is you're going to have to pull somebody out like you guys do. Yeah. So you could say when this guy comes over here, when the Sam, we build it in, the Sam could walk up instead of saying fire, he can say drop or stay. Yeah. So the guy now, he's going to come off the end of the end of the step, and he's going to open up to play the, the jailbreak. Yeah. But again, it's a plethora of what you want to do. What, how, how do you want to build in the call to get your perfect call to stop what they do? I'm just going to give you words. Yeah. Yeah. Just you know, basically like you guys do along the way with your 50 stuff. Mm -hmm. But again, we're like because of that watch. You're like kids in a candy store because it's all right there. Yeah. 
Well, you just you just build a sentence. How, how do you want how do you want to do it to break to break break, break protection? All you do is keep you come over the front. Well, you see they, they have like our offense in the play practice floor. We've always three technique cross the face on the tight end side, and the backer and the B. Yeah. So to start the year off with, we started with a split call. Okay, so the three started split call, and we went we went the opposite way and ran the linebacker through the A, and they never picked it up all day. Now that's pretty simple, but the, eye, the guard the tackle had to use the eyes one time. We made the guard use his eyes, and the guard didn't do a very good job of it. But we only usually go up to 10 on bullets and probably in a game plan. In a game plan, you probably only use maybe four, depending on how much one back. Because most of the time, bullets, we're going to use it versus one back more. We're going to use two back. Because if you're a hard running team, I don't really like bullets a lot because of the ISO and stuff. You don't have an overlap player. That's why dogs is a lot better, is a lot better blitz. Just like double smoke we're going to get into is a whole lot better two-back blitz than it is a one-back blitz because of the one-back cutback. Because that safety coming off the backside edge has got to be a boot player. Can't be a cut, especially against two tight ends one-back. Unless you coach him up to be slow and, and then you take away also his aggressiveness. TCU. We're playing TCU. What happens is uh, they're very back, and, and USC, that's the reason we did it to USC, because when they got an offset backs, 99% of the time that's where they're going. Okay? And I can even go back to the front and look at this too. But what we did was, is we created what a 4 3 team would do if we were in bullets. So the call was tie G bullet slide. What was it? Sam tag? What was the, uh, was there something inside? What did it say besides bullet? It just say bullet slide number 10. Okay, then what's no, look under bullets number 10 and see what it says on that watch on the game plan. TG. Tight G. Tight G bullet slide. Okay. What we're doing then is the linebacker, whoever slid over is going to be the A-gap player. What slide was, if they came up with an eye back or they cheated, which USC <coughs> was a big offset, <coughs> For the snap, what happened was he walked up, he ran through the backside, and we just did a four, and he made a fire call, and we created a 4-3. Weak safety walked himself down in the box. He had the remaining back, and we had we had the banjo just like you normally do between the safeties. So we slid like our slide call, and we built it into a bullets call. Did the mic read it or just go? No, he's going. Because he's he, he's not like he's crossing formation where a guy's crossing. He's basically because he went to a slide. That was his gap responsibility. Slide yeah. helped him. Now, if you came out weak backs, then we just ran through our gaps. Because you're not in a slide, you're not in a slide situation. Yeah. And also now they're running peel or zone cutback. You know, we're stepping everybody's zone in that direction. Florida offense calls peel. Again, I'm going back to building a perfect call for what we think they do with that. Mm -hmm. Which that was a two-back situation. That would not be a one-back call. That that bullet splits. Mm -hmm. Right. I believe that was under 21 personnel. Well, you 21 personnel is your top. Mm -hmm. and then you have blitz. So all these blitzes. Yeah. 21. Yeah. Because they didn't use very many personnel groups. Okay. Now, when we play somebody like Tulsa. I won't be. I won't ever have a chance to have all those categories because they they got they got five to seven personnel groups. You about have to put on the back. See. You can't think of anybody we don't play that doesn't. That's about the name of the game. The only person we played this year wasn't like that was Tulk was uh, SMU. Pitch, pitch is your four man stunt. Yeah, they're always down to five. Huh? What is it? Twenty and twenty one personnel, two back. And then they try to get in four wide and couldn't protect it. That's why our third thing that Brandon does, he they killed themselves the first two weeks because they lost they lost three starting offensive linemen, a wide receiver, a DB, a defensive tackle. Yeah. SMU. 
and that's why everything uh, we we do so much blood stuff. That's why in the first scrimmage we had, we don't usually ever tackle very well because everything's live. We get a lot of live, but we never take backs to the ground, and it's always you you always it's kind of an in between then. We never touch quarterbacks, so it's we get the first scrimmage and it's always kind of. So what the, what does stud mean? Like stud so means live the ball. It means everything's full speed except and you and you thought him up. I mean you try to tackle him, but you better start grabbing him. If he starts falling down. So let's just say you run the. You run a toss sweep, and he breaks into the secondary. Is everybody thudding him? Yes. In fact, we will, a lot of times, unless until three people get there. First guy's a big thud, and everybody else, we won't blow until three people touch him. Uh-huh. That's the same way. Uh, Coach Major. Well, now, what that has helped us is we have given us about like our cans and team. I think one of the things that's helped us is to be able to stay healthy by the end of the year. Plus, your, plus the box are getting hit. How about receivers? How about if a receiver runs a dig, you're thudding him up down the field? We get the same. We get to where the ball at the same time. He may get a concussion because we're going to break on the ball. No, we do that. We're live through the ball. but we, If he catches it, we're going to thud him somewhere yeah, down there. Yeah. yeah, it's real hard to thud if you're chasing, so if we let him behind him, it's, we're pretty much shit out of luck. Anyway, to finish up bullets. You can make anything you want to. We can, you can go when we start talking about our bullets package. You can go for hours on all this. Biggest thing is the concept of making sure you understand what what causes people in man coverage to not want to blitz is they don't get people. They don't think they can get everybody covered. When I'm telling you with five man secondary, that never really becomes ever a problem. Just how you decide on a game to day basis because you always have a lot of people off the ball. You don't put people in, in leverage situations, and if they get in a leverage situation, they check banjo. Simple Sam or Mike is just the one guy, right? Yes. Play a, a boy. So I guess if you want to go tight you in Sam and play zero free. Now, Gary, just yeah. once again going back a little bit here. Um, you know, our Sam is a little bit more of an outside linebacker. I mean, but they're both, you know, they're both four six. That's that similar to what you have? Yeah. I mean, that guy's it's a not the best, not the best world that I've ever had. Can he backpill? Does he ever backpill? Yeah, I know the one guy, that's for sure. That would be a question. If not, then you, you're going to play with these out in space and play some man, you're going to have to learn to. Unless you're going to shuffle them at five and be physical, which you know some people play me like that. Uh -huh. Which there's goods and there's pluses in both of those. As long as he gets his hands on. Okay. Now, smokes is built in. You're going to find just like our front calls. Titan, Titan split, formation calls. Field and boundary, hash calls. Everything in our blitz package is the same way when you start talking about safeties. Wide and short, we're going to bring a safety from the wide side of the field or the short side of the field. Thunder and lightning tied in, and we ran out of S words, so we used lightning for the split inside. Okay? And just out of curiosity, sure. why do you not use T and S like you do with your, with your dogs? Uh, could. Just T and S have always just gone along with, have always just gone along with it. They hear T and S, they're thinking dogs. Yeah, because I mean, you could certainly say T smoke or yeah. Less smoke, right? Just yep. like you're saying, wide smoke and short smoke. Like Brent Guy runs a package of Boise, he calls a storm when they bring around the same stuff. Yeah. Down to the. Yeah, because he took my corner coach to play the corner to play for me at uh, Utah State that went to Navy. Now just went back to Navy as the corner coach for Chuck McMillan. But. The other thing that you have is you have double that goes along with this, meaning we're coming from both sides. Mm -hmm. Now, why this again becomes important, and I don't care what the front is, okay? We, we can make, again, anything we want to front wide and tie this in. We're just going to talk coverage and how, how you teach a blitz. If you, we're going to line up the formation, so if I call wide smoke, whatever safety, strong safety, weak safety, ends up the wide side of the field is the guy running the blitz. Okay? If I wanted this guy to line up here, and if this guy was the worst man player I had, then I would call wide. 
I go wide smoke, wide cover zero, which means I'm telling the reef that how we're going to line up to the wide side of the field no matter what, just like I do with wide two blue sky solo. Okay? So wide smoke, here I come. Fire, fire, fire. He's telling the ends, just like the linebacker does. Okay? If I call it, now, why we do this, wide smoke? Because the free safety and these guys don't care what the front is. I mean, you could be twisting, you could be slamming, you could be playing base. But the free safety knows when I give him wide smoke, I, that's where I'm starting my count. So when he goes over here, wide smoke, he says, reading left, I got 87. Now, just going back to your man rules, if both these guys were in the backfield, and he's because one man smokes, reading left, I got 87, the linebackers are handling the two guys. If this guy is out of the box somewhere, this backside safety is going to be the guy that's going to handle that guy. So if they came over and lined up in trips, which is going to be your next answer, free weak safety has that guy. Because we don't walk linebackers out of the box to play man in our, in our thing. We don't, like, we don't like them doing that. And I'm going to get into another call here as soon as we're going to double. So without slowing down so you keep the concept, short smoke coming from the short side. Read and right, I got the tight end. Okay? Uh, thunder, tight end side, so he's coming from here. Lightning, he's coming from split end side. If they had two of anything in our whole package, if you called Thunder and there was two tight ends, that is going to mean strength. So if they come out balanced, we're coming from the left or from the field with a Thunder. If we call Lightning and they came out with two split end sides, so that's two split sides. Lightning means weak. Besides split, they come from the split end side or from the boundary or from the right if it was in the middle of the field. Now, I'm going to use this because this is the hardest scenario. And this is the way this has to work and so that you understand. We call double. I don't get this. Double, zero, and say we play press. We told the corners to play press. We're playing zero, play man. They come up and line up in a spread formation. The free safety is going to read where? Double, he's going to strong. He's going to read strong. So where's the strength of the passing formation? Read left. left. Read left. So free safety says read left. And this is how this works. Because now, we call double smoke, we look at, you go on the smokes category, so let's just say, what's for some tight T double smoke? smoke. So the, the linebackers know we're in the smokes category and it's double, I am now part of coverage. So they're going to listen to free safety, not the safety, because the safeties are gone. So the free safety comes up and he says, read and left, I got him. So the read side linebacker, just like he does in, in coverage, which he either thinks middle drop or vertical, if he was in, main, in zone, he now goes, well, i got to find my three. Well, he looks out here, doesn't see a tight end, so he's fine. There it is. And there he is. And I'll show you how this works so it's never, it's, oh, if you're wrong, you're right. Let's say I got a freshman free safety, and they, this is the field. They came out with pro to the field and twins to the boundary, and he's, he's screwed up. So he says, read and write, I got the tight end. Okay? So he goes here. Oh, now that's the read side guy. So he goes here. This guy walks out here. You don't see anybody. He sees that guy. He says, I'm not covering that guy. So he says, switch. Safety backs up. Play zone, he walks up, says the fire, and he runs the smoke. Now, Please. just so that you know, we teach that, we teach this exact concept. So now let's say four wives, double smoke. So which way is the free safety reading? Read and that's the field, reading left. Now this linebacker's got the back. Switch. He comes out of here, switch. Now he's playing it, he walks and plays it. Now, I'm smart enough, if you come out four wise, I'm not calling double smoke, so if that's not that much communication is not going to happen again. The if they came out and these were two tight ends and I called double smoke, okay. I want to make sure my guys can handle it. Mm -hmm. But the rule is, again, I keep using the word common sense. I'm going to tell them, common sense, do you want to cover You want to cover him? No, I don't want to cover him. He's out right on one, then I say a switch call. If they're going to give me this, then I'm going to find bullet show as a way to do what we just did. Right. Now would be my answer. But if they came out in a, in a personnel formation where they gave you something where you weren't ready to handle it, or thunder, we're building a rule. You could run a thunderbolt show. Right? Yeah, well, or if you want, if you want, if I wanted to say a call, I would call thunder mo. Thunder mo. Yeah. So I'm bringing the strong side guy and walking the Mike linebacker up, and you're getting a six-one blitz. You would tell him. And that's, I think, that's one of the card calls. If you look on the, the generic one, the generic one from uh, camp that we're starting spring with. Yeah. Gary, go back to a single smoke again. Yes, sir. Just give me a, like a, a 11 person, normal 11 person. I'll say. Okay. Okay, and give me a, a Y. Okay. Okay. Tell me what the weak 
big safety to him. He's got number two man. So that's his rule in zero when we drew up the basic zero coverage. If I'm not coming, then I have anybody outside the tackle number two. What makes him go across the box and trips? Because when it's one back, linebackers aren't going to walk out of the box. Trips one is always a common adjustment. sense, huh? He's a one back adjustment. Yes. Okay, so I got two backers in there that both have that. Uh, Fiddle. Back. Fiddle. Fiddle on the back. Now, obviously, now I don't, I don't, I don't, it's not the best situation, but that's not bad if I'm playing the run and it's first down because I'm trying to keep them there. Now, it's a pass call and I only want to bring one safety, okay? And I don't, I want a guy free. Our call to tell a linebacker to cover a tight end, no matter what, is rebel. So, my call is wide smoke, zero free rebel. Now, I know I added a never covered guy. So zero free rebel, rebel linebacker, free. So the tight end came out here, whoever's going to be on his, whatever the front call is, makes no difference. That linebacker has the tight end. We're coming off he's the edge. Still, he's still just doing his three. He finds three, right? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. He finds his tight end. Most times, we don't use very many single smokes, a lot unless it's two back, but we will, like Colorado State in the WAC championship game two years ago, three years ago, we used a lot of wide smoke and we tied a line in the call. We, like I was telling you, field the army, so we're slanting, they're a big zone team, we're slanting to the boundary and we're bringing a wide smoke. Now, I didn't, on first down, I wouldn't call a rebel call that, I'd leave them alone because you know so much run. But now we're slanting, we're actually adding seven guys to the box, but I'm doing it with the blitz. Yeah, I mean here here in this game plan right here you have uh, you have out of ten you've got one you only have one that's not a double. Yep. That's so nine are doubles. Yep. Most of the time and see most of the time I won't put a single smoke on that call. Uh huh. Because a double smoke Inside, one inside linebacker's would cover a tight end automatically? Yes, or an out, somebody's going to end up covering a number two wherever that number two is, number two weak, because that's his rule. Right, the tight end, 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 Now, the other thing is, how you get away from that is either is a cop call. Right. Like for us on first down, I have no problem running double smoke, and I don't want my linebacker to have to worry about man and, and worry about gaps. So we're playing a, even a 12 personnel team. We want to bring safeties off the edge because they're going to be in zone. And I don't want to like free safeties reading left. I got the tight end. Cap. And I'll call a cop, which the call side end is going to play it. So there's, let's just we put it on the hash. So if it was type G, we'd call type G the field because it's balanced. Just like we do our, our coverage rules, blitz rules, and everything else. So cop left, free safety says reading right. I got the tight end. Okay. Now I got guys again. the whole call there. Uh, you want to slant? You want to just play base? Tight G. Okay. I think it might be on the cop category. Uh, the call would be uh, tight G, double smoke cop. Okay. Cover zero cop. Double smoke cop. Okay. Yeah, so the free it. safety has to know that the, the, the... I give him the coverage. Cop. Zero so cop. Zero. Okay. Now, I gave Mark whatever that would be on that wristband. Cop, cop number three. I don't know what it is. Or cop number one. So I go cop number one, it says tight G double smoke cop. So I say cop number one, Mark. So he single in, they read tight G double smoke cop. Coverage wise, my guys don't need to know what's going on up. So I go zero, cop, press. Okay, so I'm the free safety now. I normally would be say read and left, okay? But I know I got a cop call, and I know, I know that the cop is happening to what side? Left or field. Okay, doesn't matter with the front. In right. this case, the middle of the field is going to be left because that's where our fronts are always going to be called. If it's in the middle of the field and it's balanced, we're calling every, we're calling strength left. Whether it's split in those tight ends or two split ends, you know, or two tight ends. If it's on the halves, then the strength's always going to be the field. Right. Free safety just got to find it. I mean, he's yeah. the one, just like the weak safety, he's the one back adjuster. Yeah. Now, both backs from the backfield. And I want to bring it, 
and I knew there were 21 personnel, I could easily call zero pre-cop. Yeah. Because I know both these guys are going to be back here, these guys got them, and we say he's coming. Now, in zero pre-cop, he also knows, though, for whatever reason, they put the tail back at H, and we ain't going to walk a linebacker. Right. What might happen, though, if they were using it, and they didn't think he was part of it, you might walk out and say, what to the safety? Say, uh, switch. switch. And you, so what you'd end up is a, a six. You end up with a six-one blitz instead of a yeah. a six-two blitz. Let me ask you a question, Gary. Sure. Back to the twelve with the cop double. Yes, sir. Ball State a couple of years ago put the tight ends as number ones and the White House as number twos. Then if you, you know switching that, it. Yeah, you, if if they catch you doing it, you you didn't know they were going to do it. Right. Then, they, then we're only gonna, they're only going to happen once. How, what would happen though? Would they you switch it? Yeah. Not run a cop. Uh, yeah, what happens is if he doesn't have a detached. if he doesn't have a tight end and a tight end yeah. formation, what he's going to do. So if he heard cop left and he knows he's the Liz Liz, and this tight end came up and lined up out here, even not out there, he would say switch. He'd widen. He'd run the smoke. And this guy'd play coverage. Let's say the tight end was number one. When your corners automatically know to cover the wideouts and that guy's safety uh, was covered. Number probably what would happen when the switch call, they would stay within their personnel mm -hmm. unless they gave it a lot, and then we wanted the corners to cover those guys. Mm -hmm. But I don't like doing that a whole lot because our safeties are supposed to be able to cover man because, again, you're telling them you're a man coverage yeah. because you want to play this. Now, Duke, we played at Duke at Navy. I mean, they were putting running backs and tight ends out the outside, and when we got them, we were man coverage. The safety would walk out on the running back, and the corner would come in and play on yeah. the wide receiver. But I don't like to have to do that unless they, they predominantly stay in that. And, you know, it's not a surprise deal. But if they're predominantly doing that, then you can game plan them. But I don't do it as a general rule. We tried to stay. Was this year, Easter, right? Then they Razzle. Got, yeah. Oh. Easter did. Out of 12 uh, personnel. All right. It was a Utah. Time. Yeah. I think he's a pretty good offensive well, line coach. What was that? Razzle. Offensive line coach? Yeah, that's what he was initially before he became the coordinator and head coach. But he's, they were pretty good on offense in Utah when he was there. Yeah. I don't know offense. if they were at Eastern. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're good. But coach, they, they could. Now, you know why the flip call came about? Flip call came about because of Utah. Because everywhere the back was in a two back set, that's where that's where the play was. They were trying to overload you. So if they came back and put the back back to the tight end side, we wanted to play sky and overload that side. When they put it to the field, I didn't want the sky call still back there. We wanted to be able to have an adjuster so we could get five on three. Because they always had a whole lot better players than we did at Utah State. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so and Hypothetical and what we teach, if you want to see, if you want to check your guy's hole cards, and I called double smoke, and they came up with 21 personnel and they came out and empty, what's going to happen on both sides? Double switch. Double switch. Double switch. So if I knew that was five wideouts, so on your card, does it say on the on the card, does it say a bullet's Aztec? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, for us and an empty team, and then we're worried about quarterback draw, we're worried about quarterback draw, empty is, is usually a pinch. We wrap guys, and Aztec tells our guys, just like you do with hamburger, they're going to show their zone look like they wanted out to empty. And now we've got a pinch, and we're bringing six, but we're showing a zone look. Where would Aztec be, bro? Uh, I don't think it's on there. It's, it's on this watch over here. Under bullets, what number what is it? on both of mine. Under uh, number bullets three. There. Oh, yeah, it says it right here. Now, for our, our guys playing our offense, see, it's built in for ours because the reason you see Aztec Stinger? Because you want quarterback. Play. Because you want these guys not coming off the edge set, going for pinch because that's what they normally do against our guys. You better play the quarterback because they're going to run speed option under four wides. So now we can walk up and these guys are going to make sure the ball gets out of his hands. But we'll take the pitch. Well, we'll get into it, but without doing anything else. Let's see. He can, but we're, I'm going to show you a new thing. We're working a guy from Texas Tech. We call it a help call. We actually turn in in man free and actually we'll play outside leverage. And because the option happens so fast, yeah. whichever side in man free, this guy reads fast. If it happens to him, if he's drop back and he goes ahead and shuffle reads and plays man free, this guy gets over the, well, he's over the top of everybody. But, it's, but instead of playing squared shoulders, we're turned in looking at the ball ring just like a corner does three step real quick playing on the outside leverage because we know we got a guy that can drive and help us. And but that's a hard deal. And that's why I say our offense makes us be pretty sound in a lot of things we do. Because when we blitz, we gotta be able to handle option in everything that we do. 
within the bliss. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say that you know that's no different than cover three principle. And guess what? That's one of the things you could do out of this if you wanted to. Sure. But in empty, it's a pretty good call because there is no possibilities. Now obviously in empty, this is a good call. When as takes a good call because your linebacker is going to walk out and show their zone alignment mm -hmm. for wall mm -hmm. to call, and then you can still play special. You can play bronco. You can play a zone concept if you wanted to. Because a lot of people read and see if this guy's here, then they're not going to they're not going to run the smash before the guy leaves. Again, you could do it, and you build into Aztec that you want to make a double drop call. Mm -hmm. You know, we could do it, and we could run double techs with the guys coming off the edge like we did last night. Again, there's you. We can stand here all day lining up because the front covers don't have anything to do with each yeah. other. What's What's interesting is I think we've all done that. Um, I think it fit, I called that double gun when I ran the double text and, you know, brought two guys off the outside. But again, it was, you know, meatloaf for meatball. It was, yeah, and the biggest thing is... You is, had to remember it. Well, that's the thing is you just read it off the wristwatch now. And the other thing, the best thing about it is the front doesn't care. I mean, the coverage doesn't care. All they know it's either bullets, it's double smoke, and you're telling them so they can set the coverage because I'm telling you, I mean... Who makes what? your switch call? The linebacker? Linebacker. I'm always he's the one who says, I'm not covering that guy, switch. Yeah, bullshit. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, if the game go back to... A little to, bit like our you go right. But again, I, I try to control that as much as possible. I don't. I try not to put them in that kind of situation where sure. they have to do anything. You know they're going to be in that personnel group. You, 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 call ball or ball you know... And you have to, like cop calls, if there's somebody that's going to line up tight ends everywhere, then probably cop call's not going to be a big part of our game plan. Right, because now that safety's got to do a little bit of thinking, correct? But if you're you got to know which end's involved in the cop call and where to go. Well, it's not so much yeah, that as if they're, they're walking him off and smoking him or lining up in a wide out or something like that. Really, that cop call thing, as far as where the guy reads, is not really a big deal because basically all I tell the free safety is handle the one back set. So if he's got a cop left, he's going to go find it. If you put a twins out there, it'd be a lot easier for him. Put up yeah. 11 with a cop call. So he's just going to the tight end, wherever he is. Yeah, then he, then it's, that's, that, I gave you the hardest example, right. 12. Okay. But this is easy now. We double smoke, because free safety he's just finding this number two wherever he is, because the corner's crossed himself out. That guy steps the tight end. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Draw up who's got who. Three safety's reading strength. Strong safety's coming. Weak safety's coming up from the back end. Linebacker's got a fiddle. Now, obviously, again, if I want to keep a guy free in this system, which we do, some, I call Thunder, and I call Mo, mm -hmm. and I called Comp. So now, free. free. He'd be the free guy because the way he come out. If they lined up in spread. And I used a cop call because now I added an extra coverage player. I added a cop call, and I said, Mo, Sam's got the back, free safety's got him, weak safety's free player. Because what we're going to do is we're going to give you a zone alignment, however we are. Actually, this is wrong. He's coming. Strong safety's got him, free safety's free. Is this the weak safe? And all that happened because of rules. Rules, strong safety took number two just like he did in regular zero. It didn't yeah. change because it was, it was Mo Thunder. Right. It just That's his rule. Free safety would have normally came back here because he had a Thunder call. He didn't come back here because I gave him what call? Uh, gave him a cop. So his, now his coverage part of it is taken care of. Again, I have, we have a way to be safe. We want to be. It depends on how good people we're playing. I mean, as a general rule, it holds up. You can, you can blitz lesser teams a whole lot more. You can blitz real good teams and they can football. So really good, well, like in the uh, Hawaii game. Hawaii game, we're doing, we're doing a lot more, at first, a lot more zone voiding, not to give a big play and play in a regular zone coverage. And got lucky on a couple of them. And bringing bullets because that's pretty that's pretty sound. Instead of later in the game, all of a sudden we're running short dog with zero and three safety sliding clear over and handling the guy. 
because I'm trying to add one more guy to the party. Dogs? Yeah. Anybody have any question on smokes? Now, let's go about one more thing on smokes. We have four types. Of, lion. Yeah, we have four types of smokes. Smokes, also, now how you want to change people up, we have lions, we have rage, and we have stinger. What lion tells us when, when I call, it's going to be under the smokes category. Everybody understands that lions, rages, and smokes still talk just like smoke. The only difference the safety and somebody else is doing something different. When we call lion, so it would be double lion instead of double smoke, type G double lion. So now when we come up, we come up, safety's going to go, instead of saying fire, 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 though, now they're saying lion, lion, lion. What a lion is, guy wide in the last moment, he becomes the pitch player. I become the tight off the ass. First thing shows quarterback player on both sides. And the tight end's there. Option responsibilities. Hands are first. Hands are first. Okay? Now, just like double smoke, didn't change coverage. Where's the free safety reading here? Read left. Read left, he's got him. Linebacker finds him. Linebacker finds the backside tight end. Put back two backs, and that becomes a whole lot simpler. But I always teach versus one back because this is the hardest. you got to be able to kids for people to be able to. Put that tight end out, and you get a switch call. Get a switch call, and the end with and the safe in the linebacker would say lion, because he read the call off the wristband too. Now, That's the next nice thing. Is it, is it go ahead with, with the smoke? Um, it, does the end know like just a, just a single just a single smoke? You know, a, a, a thunder. Is that safety give him a fire call? Does he leave? Reading his watch, he doesn't even know the smoke's coming. No, because you don't want to do it to our hands to see if they're, they're paying attention. Let's just say we're in a game, and the calls I got on there with Lion, okay, I don't like one of them. I want to run one of those fronts, or we're running with smoke, but I want to run those fronts that you're having with smoke, but I want to run Lions. So what I tell Mark, I say, Mark, smoke's one. So he looks down, and he signals in, tie G, double smoke, okay? But I get the safeties, double Lion. Safety walks up to the end and says, lion, 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 because the safety, the lion, end is going to do what the safety tells him. So during, I did it in the, you know, in the practice, well, not in the practice of the day, but when we went, you're going to check your young kid's whole card, who are they listening to? Because their ends are told, you do what the safety tells you to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so by the end, reads his watch, and he sees double smoke, so initially he's thinking, I'm coming down inside. Mean, well, you're going, I'm probably going to get a fire call. Yeah. But then the safety walks up and says, double, double lion. Mm -hmm. Again, all it, all it is is, but now I got a different front. We're going in a game, and I'm not getting, I want a lion call, but I'm not getting the front I want. Sure. Okay? So I go ahead and give him a generic whatever I want on there, and then I, now obviously I can't run a lion if I got a double twist going on inside, but I could if I had a, just a single twist between the top two tackles. Mm -hmm. And I wanted that twist, but I also want a double lion. So I call that one double, tie G twist, double smoke. The only difference is I'm going to call it tie G twist, and I'm going to give him a double lion call. So that's what a lion is. Again, lions can be done right just like smokes. It can be a wide lion, short lion, thunder lion, lightning lion. Same way. One from the field, one from the boundary, one from the tight end. Just add the word. Again, you're not, it's not like you're signaling a whole lot because all I'm doing is thunder, lion. The rest of those guys are just reading it. Again, the same thing, if I had a tight G thunder call on that wristwatch in the smokes and I wanted to be a lion, I'm just going to tell safety thunder lion, and now he's going, to, he's going to tell the end on that side around lion call instead of running the smoke. Rage. Great for power O teams. Rage, we're going to wrap. What it's telling the rage tells us the safety's going to come first. The end's going to stick and he's coming around, so now we want to take quarterback faster. You know why I'm laughing, Bernie? Yeah. What? We, tell me. We tried to run we tried this. to do this against Missouri. Yeah, for power O. For power O. What's the tight end? If the tight end, you know, we got the tight end turning out on the safety. They banned it. Yeah, and the end was kind of like in, in no man's land. Because they read him coming off the edge, so that's how they blocked it. The then I'd say you better stay away from rages. Yeah, we ran. But if they block in or down. Yeah. He wrong the shoulder, everything. He's he's laughing. Free safety comes to clean up.
also do this for option against our offense. The option, we, we, and we had it in really for options. We thought we were going to get option for this one. Power and option. I tell you, another call that's pretty good and so that you can take two back teams is not on the tight end side, but on the split end side. A lot of people are doing it anymore. Is running a, a lightning range <clears throat> because you know the smoke on the backside when you grab ball away and it's play action is responsible for boot. Yeah. Right. But yeah, when you tell him range, yeah. his ass is coming down like this. And now this guy's looping secondary for it. He's basically taking his place. He's got to come flat enough to take his place for cutback. Yeah, like that. Like that. Now that's yeah, that's good. Now and then Stinger. Let me ask uh, yes, rage all four smokes. Yes, same way with lion. Same way with lions, and you just like smokes. Okay. Now all these four fall under the field, a hash call so or a or or thing where you can run all four smokes with it too. And I'm sure before we're done in the next 15 years, there'll be another call here that'll be added to smokes of how we want to run it. Pretty soon, you know, pretty soon we'll just have on these wristband. Okay, here's the zone calls, and this is the blitz calls. <laughs> hey, what, if, what if you didn't? What if you didn't want a? Uh, what if you didn't want a uh, stunt or a twist? I just call type G. He know, just signals type G. He don't signal them. He don't go to the watch. No, just he just that's the way you just type G. Split G or any of them. Oh, you talked about in terms of using the watch. Yeah, if if he didn't if he didn't give you anything, then you So if I told Mark we just want to line up with type G, they wouldn't even look at the watch because he didn't give him a number. Because they're not gonna look to the wristband unless he goes How's he let him know a stunt's coming? Because he'll go type G and they go, what's because when he don't give any other signal, that means he's they're going to be in the stunt category. One means look at it means aim, look okay, under stunt. Okay. Type G. One. Okay. If he wanted a twist. Then he's gonna look under twist category, he's gonna go twist one. Go type G, twist one. Okay, how's he gonna tell them to go twist? Okay. No call is a stunt. Yep, no call is a stunt. Okay. Twist one. Dogs. One. Smokes, gotcha. one. Bullets, one. So one of the things, Cop. one of the coaching one. points right off the bat would be, you can't have a guy. I mean, you, you, they got to be looking because if I, if I'm Larry Can, I look over and I miss the twist, and I see one, I'm running a freaking. That's aim. what. That's why first scrimmage in the spring, the offensive coaches, the whole offense is out on the field. Defense on the sideline. Defense down on the sideline, and we're, we're sweating. So you know what I'm checking? All those redshirt freshmen. Here's our nose guard. He's looking at the offensive huddle. Chad, what call is it? Because I'm watching. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean you, you don't You better know. start looking over here, or you're not playing another snap. So all of a sudden, it's looking at the sideline so they can see twist number three. You don't know how to mm -hmm. Now, if like they're getting where they're moving on us, and I feel like there's a we get a little bit of rattle, we'll go just to kind of get them in. But we'll never go like you know where you get up in front and the linebacker says type G in the quarter. I mean the safety says two blue sky. I mean that that just that doesn't happen with us except when we do a drill where we're coming out of a huddle to, to get to something. That and I tell you what, that's probably the close first time closest to getting fired. The year we went nine and two, we're in two a days, and he, he didn't think we had a lot of leadership on defense. It wasn't that. I mean, we're about the fourth day. He says, I want to huddle. I said, Coach, we can't huddle. Not the way we built this animal. I said, Well, if I got a coordinator, you know, most of my coordinators will listen to what I said. I said, Well, I guess you need to find a coordinator who's better than I am, because I don't know how to do it with what we call the way we call this anymore. So then about 20 minutes later, he walks in. All I want is a call. If I want to get them together, I can. Okay, I said, we got one for you. We already, we already talked about it. Get the hell out of my office. <laughs> all right. That's, I know things are all right when I get thrown out at least once every two months. <laughs> get the hell out of my office. One time you got mad, Fred, Coach, he'd be mad. I said, he said, get out of my office. No, I said, I'm not leaving until you tell me why you're mad at me. You did that? <laughs> yeah. I ain't leaving until you, leave you tell me why you're mad at me. I'm going to get fired. I'll at least know why. <laughs> that was that was back in the early years. It hadn't been like that the last three. Most of the time, it's... I tell you the hardest thing I have, because he's the offensive coordinator, is making him feel like we're all together. Because it's got it's my job to do it, because it can't. it's not his, because he's all... Hey, 
you guys are putting yourself on an island. How am I, self, how am I putting myself on an island? So, I mean, I try to get him over there to run the watch in our, in our circuits, everything. So he, hey, Coach, why don't you talk to him today? I try to do everything I can, Coach, to make sure that he's part of it. Because, you know, he just really, like, like right now, we have a different quarterback coach. He's not on our field. And so it's, I got to, hey, Coach, you going to come over and watch circuit today? I mean, I got to go out of my way to make sure that I keep it blended. But he's been pretty good because we give, you know, the drills, we give goals, objectives. And at the end of the week, you have to say yes or no. If you met those objectives, we write them every week. Well, one of our goals for the spring was to blitz more. So I waited four days, and then we started bringing, and he don't consider, he don't consider a linebacker running through blitzes anyway because you're supposed to go to gap control and block them. And I didn't tell him we were going to come off the edge with him initially. Like a mo? Yeah, like Moe's and Bullet Show and some of those kind of things. So, but, I mean, they didn't tell me they also were going to run uh, empty. He's a fast. Pop, we tell him. We have a speed option boot. <laughs> now, that one, now, that was a new one, too. Yeah. The speed option boot. Now, that, I tell you what, if people play zone, that will be a problem for people. What's that? Yeah. Oh, they're starting in one back. They're starting down the line, like, instead of just faking the zone and booting, they're really burning and running, taking the five steps like they run their one back option, five steps down, and then they're booting back the other direction. Well, Everybody in the secondary, the first time that happened, because you know, we're used to zone faking and holding. We had never seen him go. <laughs> Here we come down the line, and then, whoa, he's he moved back. It's like, now this really made, gonna have it put a whole new point to don't go till you know. <laughs> There's a whole new point to this deal. <laughs> but I tell you what, I said, I, I warned him, I said, now, people are blitzing. You're not holding those safeties to attack the back coming off the edge. If you don't think to the zone. Sure enough, the first day we put in bullets, the guy turned around twice, and that linebacker came through the gap and was standing right next to him. Well, maybe we won't run as much. I said, no, it's a great deal as long as people are, are playing, are running zone and doing things like that, because we don't get as much blitz as a lot of people do. Our offense doesn't. They haven't. Now, the younger quarterback doesn't start running the option better. They're going to get a whole lot more. So they're not scared of Patrick Bateau, he ran for the scouts the other day, ran 4-3-9 or something like that guy that played quarterback for us. Yeah. Yeah. They were moving into wide receiver. Where was he from, Patrick Bateau? Uh, Elkins. Doing all right, Kyle. Yeah, it's still on. Houston. Uh, oh, Elite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Elite Elsick. 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 Elsick, but there's also an Elkins down there. That's where Royce Hoffman and, and all of them from also with our punter. Now, so take, well, last one. Stinger just tells the safety coming off the edge to take quarterback. Or, yeah, or the Mike and Bullets. Or, or the Mike and Bullets. Whenever you use the word Stinger with right. one of those guys. Now, see, you say, well, how's, how do you know when you say Stinger to the Mike but you don't know the safety's not coming? Because I don't signal it to the safety. You don't have a wristwatch. When it says Mo Stinger, he's not reading Mo Stinger. Coming with Stinger again? Stinger's telling the smoke to go to quarterback instead of come to go to pitch. You say, well, now who has Telling any outside blitzer to go to quarterback instead of pitch. Two back, two back. I'm going to call, instead of calling two or zero, I call Thunder Stinger. Telling him instead of coming off the edge with him, he's coming for first threat, like he runs a rage. I play blue with it, which tells us over here. Blue Broncos, so tells us over here it's a one man stunt. He got quarterback, they come down the option. His option rules is still play pitch anyway. Mm -hmm. So I build it instead of this guy reading on the line of scrimmage. Now, if they run power O or something, I got a guy running at it instead of. Wait a What? No, you wouldn't run that with double stinger? Oh, yeah, you could, but I would probably do a double stinger, do it more out of a six man. I'd do it more with a mo. Here, and if, I, if you were in four wideouts, I'd do it more with two safeties. With a 6-1 look. But you could run double stinger. I just don't have any person over here to be the pitch guy when you move the safety up. That's what I'm saying. You probably wouldn't do it, right? No. Thunder or lightning, yeah. So really... I shouldn't say all four smokes with Stinger. I should say Thunder or Lightning. Yeah, and you could run a wide stinger. Oh, you call yeah. it with a just wide call. Or just no doubles. Yeah, doubles is, is the problem set. Okay. Now, dogs is the same way smokes are. Only dogs now already signifies you're bringing how many? 
or from the side. You're bringing a linebacker and a safety from the side. Don't care what the front is. Now we're just talking about coverage. So the free safety now here is dogs. And all he wants to know is it. We do it the same way. Wide dogs, short dogs, <coughs> T dogs. Instead of lightning, we have S dogs. You're split. Now, the rules, really, as far as coverage, are the same as it was for smokes. Really, the biggest thing, though, is you're never going to really have any switch calls unless you go empty. Because a linebacker, the away side linebacker is never the away side because it's always the safety. So if we come up here, you line it up, and let's say we're going to run wide dogs. I don't care, you know, where they're running through. We're just running wide dogs. Free safety knows it's wide dogs because I gave him the number. He's reading out of the white side of the field. He finds number two. Linebacker getting counts. Weak safety's got the guy outside the box. So guess where, just like in smoke, just like it was a single smoke, that tight end come over here, guess who's covering him? Go. He's got him. He will try to show a half as much as he can and move late. Okay? Okay? Now, the question real quick. Sure. Uh, nothing related to this. Watching that tape this morning? Yes, sir. On some of your solo stuff? <coughs> yes, sir. <coughs> sometimes it looked like that guy stayed back almost over the weak side tackle looking yep. at the trips, and other times it looked like he came all, came all the way over on the front side. Well, it might have been a different guy, and it might have been flipped. But if it was if it was on a solo tape, I'd have to, I'd have to see it for okay. you to know it. I don't... All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. No. <coughs> now... Let's just say this is the wide side of the field again. So we call it wide dogs, and now we got two back. When you're in a two back set, and we got wide dogs or any kind of dogs coming, if you're in an eye back set, we're always giving the remaining back, the tail back to the remaining linebacker because of play action. This guy cannot play full back in the flat and still play play action. So whether it's offset, say that again, Gary. When we're in dogs, we're in dogs, the remaining linebacker always has the tail backs when you're in an eye type situation. Okay, so what happens is then now we know what happens. Free safety and weak safety have these guys, so more than likely, what are they going? Banjo. They, they could banjo, but if, not, if they don't, right. probably they're going banjo and move themselves more into a blue look. Right. But blue probably wouldn't do it unless it was more like that. Banjo. Okay. Okay. So now wide dogs, he would move late, move late, and so now the free safety and the weak safety have the inside outside. Okay. The remaining linebacker always has the tailback. That's good. Even in the eye. Huh? Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. Okay. Tailback, line, main linebacker always has. Put him in the eye. Where are the safeties going to line up? Huh? Where are the safeties going to line up? Normal, or, normal way they'd line up to the passing strength. Everything. But he's going to have to cheat himself, look like a blue or five look back here, and get over the top more so he can get to anything working up the field. Because obviously, again, you got a guy that might run away from you. Only going to cheat on the near set? Won't cheat against the eye? Could. If they, if you, like our offense is starting to do it without running the fullback and the flat out of high backs, then you, you're going to have to cheat late. But he's still got support weak, right? Huh? Yeah, and he's still got to be able to get back to things. That's why, you know, it's kind of, you just, you don't give him a, you don't give him a definite. No. Because if this tackle's sitting up high, then he probably can cheat more. The tackle down low. It's just like he's keying the fullback, and if he goes to the tight end, now he's looking back. He's looking back. He's looking how we're going to help him. Yeah. yeah. Because they may be max protection, nobody go out. He right. may just be hanging. So let's say, but his first key is the tackle. Yeah. Well, he's going to pre-snap. Pre-snap. Put that, Willie. Uh, Noxie. Yeah. Okay, yeah, give, give me a near set. Number right here. Oh, this one? Yep. Yeah. And, and no, no, near, near to the tight end. Okay. Okay. All right. So, and, and you're worried about them getting him out in the flat. Yeah. All right. So get your weak safety cheated over because you got a. Uh, I'm not so worried about. Four snap. You got a banjo. Yep. Okay. Now you got your backside backer who's got the tailback. Correct. They run speed option weak. You're probably going to get two guys on that, right? Yeah. Without saying it, without saying anything, if you do run speed option, probably both of them would run to it. Because yeah, that backer. He's got a man. He's yep. got a man. I think That's I saw that on some of your tape one time. Yep. Now, we try try to coach it up hard though on option. No, understand that there's going to be a guy. There's going to be a guy there all the time. So but if he reads ball down the line, he's going to go quarterback to pitch. Now, the other there. thing on That's all the dogs, the I don't know what's on there. Right. Most of the time with dogs, there is a silver call, which is always telling the, the, the end when he doesn't have a dog to his side. 
that he is he is he's handling back clear across the space. If you, we know you were on speed option, we would never put Silvers in the call because okay. we'd always want the end of playing quarterback. Sure. <clears throat> okay, you go Silver now. Silver, that's the okay. That, that's, that's, just to build, that's just to build in. For so any is your place. linebacker going to get into? Uh, he would add. He adds. I forgot what word you used there. Adds. Add. In other words, he, so yeah, in he, the back player, he sees the angle on, and he's going to. He sees. He secures. He's got him. He's nice going to wrap stuff. Yeah. yeah. You like the silver with the dogs, and then you like it with some bullets too. Right? You don't need them smokes <laughs> because you got coming off the edge. Yeah, we didn't talk about that in uh, in the bullets, but most of them have silver, huh? Yeah, unless we're so, playing a team that runs like our offense and runs speed up. So we got two watches for spring. When we're going to work blitz versus cans, and we're working on our own formations, and we're not going against the offense that day, then we'll have we'll have them in a wristband and have silver on it. If silver. we're going to if we're going to if we're going to play against our option our offense that day, there mm -hmm. won't be any silver calls on that because we don't want the hands going to pitch. You don't, have, what, you don't have a silver on the spring. Yeah, that's in fact. Well, I think yours has a silver, though, doesn't it? Every one of them does. Yeah. See, I, I brought both watches. He's got silvers. You don't on the spring watches. I brought. The only one that doesn't have silver is TG Pinch. Bullets as texting. Yeah, because now you've got a, you've got a, you've got uh, linebackers coming off the edge. They got a pinch too. So yeah, you can't have silver. Correct. Right. The silver is just flare control. I missed that. Yeah, it is flare control by the ends. If what? they get full fold action. Oh. Why don't you need it with smoke? Because you got safeties coming off the edge. They're your they're your spy. We call them spies. They have it automatic. Yeah. To start a game. They will always start with an automatic because they have pitch. If they're trying to do something to you to run him out and do something, then we will oftentimes tell them, I want no more spies on smokes. Okay. And once again, whoever has that guy, I got to stay with him. him. And he'll add. He'll add. Yeah.